hello uh, co-writers and uh, uh, folks out there who are very eager to meet master tutor james once again i'm very excited extremely excited today um why you may want to ask i have loads of information for you especially for rookies who want to get on the on the marketplace called upwork and have uh, their writing skills converted into uh, money um, is going to be become a reality with time with patience and the consistency and perseverance we're gonna get there uh, I didn't get there by 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 uh, chance but by a dint of consistency and hard work and uh, playing by the rules and that is why we are here again how you can play by the rules of upwork so that you don't violate the terms of service and the uh, and the conditions um but you need to go back to my previous video and uh, you need to watch the previous videos and uh, subscribe to the youtube channel uh drop your comments and let me have your feedback so uh yeah uh a few takeaways from the last uh video we had um, in that video i set a, a foundation for knowledge of how you can get your account approved especially for rookies who want to get on board and convert their uh, skills into money uh, you you need to understand that your profile building towards having an approval for your account must concentrate on two things skill set and experience so i i specifically men, uh, mentioned that to you that your profile must concentrate on your skill set and your experience and outside those two um, every other thing may become non-essential okay but uh, beyond um, that general consideration there are specifics that you need to understand while creating that account um and those specifics are maybe some of them you may be aware some of them you are not aware or you pretend to be oblivious of uh, uh but I, i'm going to itemize them i have the, the list here and i'm going to take them one after the other all you need is to be patient and listen very carefully as we have this interaction together or for a greater uh, tomorrow as we speak there are over 65 million United States uh, citizens uh, who are who are freelancers, professional freelancers, I must say. Uh, so they decide the time they want to work. They decide the kind of work they want to do. They need they need not to wear the suit and the jacket and all of that. So, but so they want to uh, uh, create their own world, their own working world, and they want to create their own working relationship. All right, so um, that is the beauty of being a freelancer. You have your time to yourself. You want to determine the person you want to work with. Your employer, you are the one to determine your employer, not your employer determining you. All right, isn't that fantastic? That's what Upwork and other freelance uh, uh, platforms do for you. Okay, so having said that, um, the first thing is that the first rule is that you must not bypass uh, upwork terms of service it's important don't bypass it and the second understanding is that uh, you must realize that upwork response as to whether it's rejected or approval sometimes are manual sometimes are auto generated so uh, there are reasons why the rejections come or why approvals come so there are things you must do there are things you must not do and one you must use a business email when you're opening your account um, the gmail the yahoo mail the hotmail are not uh, readily accepted by upwork and that's why you see when you're opening your account um upwork will give you a response like we notice you want to use a gmail account would you like to use your work email so is preferable work professional business email is preferable 
and you can easily uh, even create a business email account via Gmail. So it, it, it's very easy. Just Google search and uh, you, 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 you get a business email. You can also uh, go to Bluehost and buy a domain and uh, a domain maybe in the region of five ten dollars will save you all the uh, uh, or hurdles you likely to face when you're opening your uh, Upwork account. So, professional email, uh, work email, or business email is is important. You get it. So your Gmail may not fly. The only thing to get you is rejection of your account. So please take note of that. The second thing I will have to say here is that you have to choose the maximum number of categories and skills. Uh, of course, as you are aware, our category is writing. It's, it's clearly uh, written out on Upwork. Writing is a category on its own. And so, under that writing, we have subcategories, some of which I've itemized for you in the past, and I, where I was mentioning uh, digital marketing writing, email copywriting, SEO, web content, uh, and a host of others. So you have uh, uh, you have all those subcategories under writing. So what I would suggest to you is to choose the maximum number, as many as the the it it, it allows when you are uh, selecting them. Choose as many as you can. And in choosing as many as you can, please ensure that you choose the ones that you are proficient at. Uh, it is not, it's not always good to choose the ones that you think you cannot handle. Because like I told you, you cannot be a jack of all trade and a master of none. Uh, you must be proficient at uh, maybe the first five or the first three or the first four. Um, being a writer does not mean you, you can write on every niche or you can write on every industry. No. There are areas that you are good at, you are most good at, and that uh, that informs and sets as uh, a background for uh, for the proposal you'll be sending later. So whatever reflects in your profile will be what your client or your potential employer will be looking at uh, when you start when you come on board and you start uh, submitting proposals. So make sure that you choose as many as possible categories and the categories that you are proficient at. So leave out the ones that you think you are not good at and pick the ones that you think you are good at when you are choosing your subcategories. All right. So uh, the third thing has to do with uh, uh, your experience level. We have three uh, experience levels when you are opening your account. You will see the basic, intermediate and the expert level. It is advised and recommended that you choose the, the intermediate and expert level. This is the reason. Uh, there are millions of people want to who are also writing. All right, there are millions of writers out there, and there are millions of them who want to get on board, who want to get uh, on Upwork. Okay, so it it is the person with uh, who, who, who has who has experience, who has some level of experience that will get that will have his account or his request for approval considered so it is advised that you go for an intermediate or expert level and i will even suggest that you go for the expert level so that you the image you are projecting is that you are an expert you 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 are at an advanced stage you are not a beginner writer so that uh, gives you a leverage over others who are who are basic or intermediate so I would advise you either choose intermediate or expert level when you are choosing your experience level. So this will send a message to Hopwalk that um, you are not just uh, you are not just uh, uh, um, a, a newbie. You are not a newbie. You, are, you, you you've been in the you've been in writing for years. All right. So that that, that that's also important. Then the next one has to be that you must complete your profile hundred percent. Uh, part of the issues that why your account may get rejected is that you don't fill all the details that you need to fill. Ensure that every detail that is required of you, you must fill it and complete it. Um, your history, your experience, your education, your 
So all of them must be completed. Make sure that you complete these things uh, before you submit for approval. All right. So uh, then you showcase your experience, skills, and education. And this is also very important uh, when you are filling your the, the 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 request form. Ensure that you you showcase your skills. What are the skills you've had? Um, that's where you will be talking about uh, what are your past uh, experience. So fill all those past experiences with jobs you have written, not with story of uh, where you worked as a, as a, as a teacher or not your where you work as. So fill relevant skills that are particular about writing. Don't go and put uh, uh, other skills that do not match your category. Your category is writing. And every skill you are putting there, every history you are putting there, you must be related. All right? Must be related. Now, it doesn't matter the course you study. It may be medical science or pharmacy or politics or philosophy or whatever you study. That's a different ball game. You can fill your educational history. But as to experience history, ensure that you stick to experiences that are related to writing. All right, so that's that's also very important. Then you refine your categories. You refine your categories after the first rejection. Go back again and revise that category and refine it. Make make sure that your categories are, are and subcategories are related in a way. So don't uh, don't don't fall for uh, don't fall for for people uh, for. For the status quo don't settle for the status quo refine your categories upgrade the categories as soon as as, as frequent as possible uh, that, 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 that's also very important um, come up with a specific title okay so when you are writing come up with a specific title maybe you say uh, editor uh, uh, proofreader Come up with a very specific title. Don't don't let your title be a general title, uh, where you just write writer. No, that's 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 that may get your your uh, request for approval knocked out. So ensure as much as possible um, to be specific in your title. Okay. Um, also choose uh, also ensure that uh, you don't give false information. This cannot be overemphasized don't give false information in a bit in a bit to to get on upwork a lot of people go uh, into outsourcing uh, profile building and approval uh, 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 contract they outsource it it is dangerous such that uh, whoever is saying they want to get you want to help you get your work approved um they change your location to the us or to pakistan or to elsewhere and that's dangerous uh so they they they, they choose a different skill set to get you in then later you 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 you, you change it upwork has a way of verifying these things and if you are if you are if you are unlucky you'll be kicked out or your account will be put on hold even after verification your account will be put on hold and once you are not able to to answer convincingly some of the questions posed to you when your account is on hold uh, the next thing is that you are out and once you are out to get back on that platform uh, you, you may have to spend several months again so it's important you don't give false information. It's important you don't outsource uh, this approval uh, 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 to fraudsters, to people who want to uh, who want to modify your 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 location or or change your location or change your your skill set, and so that they, because they are anxious, they are aggressive to get to get uh, you on board. So that's that's what we have. To say again today, um, uh, put your comments down. Let me see the questions you have. Uh, I will address them in my subsequent video, and uh, we, we I, I'm sure by the time you come on board, 
uh, everybody will be a winner yeah